A rival mentality can rob you of your purpose in life, which is hindering your ability to attain your maximum potential. The number one reason that a rival mentality is dangerous to you is that it limits you and limits your progress in life. The question could be, how does it limit me or my progress in life? And this is it. A rival mentality is an achievement-based mentality. For one person, it could look like attaining a certain goal or accomplishing a certain goal and they be like, I have arrived. And for the other person, it could feel like, when I get here, I will be happy. When I get married, I will be happy. When I have admission, I will be happy. When I'm done with school, I will be happy. When you base your happiness and your joy and your peace on achieving a certain thing, that's an arrival mindset or mentality also. It will limit your progress. Because for this person that says, I am single, when I get married, I'll be happy. What hope do you have that marriage or getting married Will make you happy because if you cannot be happy being single being married cannot make you happy it's limiting your progress because in this waiting time that you're waiting to get married as a single person you are not building yourself you're not becoming self-aware you're not discovering yourself you're not doing something but you're waiting for something that is wrong and for someone that says i have reached this place i have made it it's good to celebrate your strides in life it is good to celebrate the steps that you've been able to make in life but then don't allow it to overwhelm you if you want to make progress in life you should see every achievement and every goal as a step forward which is a stepping stone to something higher i have made this i've gotten married now it's a stepping stone to build a home it's a stepping stone of commitment for me to work with my partner and see our love life thrive if you get a job it's good to celebrate but you shouldn't feel like i have arrived which means this is what i do for life you should be able to check your working environment. How can I do better? How can I make my life better? Will this thing serve my life? Okay, you could say you've had a job security, but do you have a future security? You should not have the arrival mindset of I've made it. Others are not working. I'm now a working class. That's a wrong mindset to have. In everything that you get to do in your life, if you have an arrival mentality, it's going to limit your progress. Jesus says something in Luke chapter 12 verse 15. Let's read that. Speaking to the people, Jesus continued, Be alert and guard your heart from greed and from always wishing for what you don't have. For your life can never be measured by the amount of things you possess. So your life can never be measured by the amount of goals you achieve. But your life should be measured by Am I fulfilling my purpose? Am I living in purpose? Because by this, you'll be able to live a fulfilled life. Even when you feel like if I get this or that, I will be happy and fulfilled. When you get those things, you realize that there's more, you're still empty, which means you need to know and fulfill your purpose in life. The second reason it is dangerous to have this arrival mentality, it leads to complacency. Complacency is a sense of self-satisfaction and having a sense of self-satisfaction as a Christian is already wrong because God did not call you to a life of just having self-satisfaction but God's satisfaction. He should be your satisfaction but when you feel like oh I'm comfortable, I'm okay, you build a comfort zone around yourself, you become curved to comfort because you are okay with where you are. That's not the life God meant for you. God meant a life that you live and overflow which means if you have enough to feed your house and take care of yourself, do you have enough to be a blessing to others? Do you have enough to give to others? So why do you stop investing? If you are just focused on the mindset of getting enough for yourself to be self-satisfied, that is not the life God called you to as a believer. And that's an arrival mindset. You start comparing yourself with people and even competing with people. You are not competing with people the goals that they have been able to achieve or what they have been able to possess you want to possess that and when you possess that so that you can feel satisfied i have arrived that's not the life god called you to he called you to a life of productivity whereby you'll be productive to him and also be productive to people jesus talked about a man in a parable who had everything according to him and he felt satisfied and he told himself and i'll say to myself self you've done well you've got it made and can now retire take it easy and have the time of your life. And the Lord told him, today I will ask of your life from you. Life is not about self-satisfaction. Life is about fulfilling your purpose. If you are so focused on just arriving at a goal and feeling like you've made it, or you're looking forward to what you do not have and you're telling yourself, when I get here, I'll be happy. 
I'll be comfortable. You are looking for self-satisfaction. That is not what he called you to. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. It's an added, be satisfied in him. Then he will satisfy you with the things you need. The third reason arrival mentality is dangerous is that it hinders your upgrade in life. Life in its core is not about arrival, but it's about joining after joining after joining after joining. Which means this is the picture of it. I am someone that is a student and I have the mindset of getting to university. So by the time I have admission, it does not mean I have arrived yet. It means I have started another journey, but I should celebrate this strike that I've made. It could be celebrated, oh, I've been admitted into school. That is good. But then doesn't mean I have arrived. From there, if I progress and finish school and graduate, it means I have not arrived, but I am open to enter into another joining. I am beginning another joining in life. It's joining after joining. And when I get employed, it doesn't mean I have arrived. It means I am starting another joining. This will give me the mindset to think about progress, to be thinking progressively. And that is what God wants you to be. To think that way, you always upgrade your life. You're always thinking of the next thing forward. Now I have a job. I want to think of how can I maximize myself to have financial freedom. And if it's about your relationship, when you have an arrival mentality, it's going to hinder your upgrade in that relationship. For example, you are single and now you want to date someone. If you have a rival mentality, you chase this person because it's a goal. When you think about dating or courting or anything like that, as a rival, it means you are missing it already. Your mindset should be that it's a journey. By the time I find someone to date, I've not arrived. I have started a journey to discover this person. I have started a journey to get to know this person better. I have started a journey to learn to love this person better. And by the time I'm loving this person better and we want to progress, it doesn't mean I've arrived if I decide to propose to this person. It means I am starting another journey. Life is journey upon journey upon journey. Not getting a goal and you feel like I've arrived. That mentality will limit your upgrade. But if you think about it like journey upon journey, now we have graduated from dating, we feel like we are compatible physically and spiritually and emotionally and always, we can upgrade. Getting married to this person is not I have arrived. It is we are starting another journey. If you see life like this, it's going to be so beautiful because you'll be intentional about building each stage that you get into. Your mindset would be, what do I do to maximize this new journey that I'm starting? Because just like someone that wants to go on a journey, Going on a journey always gives you the sense of preparation. So by the time you think about life that way, in terms of the things you want to do, it will really help you because it can affect every area of your life and your perspective generally. Everybody will arrive in this life at death and that will be our arrival. But as much as we are still living, your greatest potential is yet to be discovered even as you are looking at me right now. And Paul said in Philippians, I don't mean to say I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection. But I praise on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it. But I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. This is to tell us that there is always something ahead. There is always more ahead of us. And the only way we can recognize more ahead of us is to recognize the fact that Life should be seen as a journey. Life should not be seen with the arrival mentality. Whether in your spirituality, in your emotional life, your psychology, don't think you know everything. Life is always about learning. The day you stop learning should be the day you die. Not when you have not even gotten anywhere. You feel like you know everything. You feel like you are a monopoly of knowledge. So in conclusion, life should be seen as a journey. If I'm starting a business, you shouldn't feel like I have arrived. I should celebrate the strides that I make in all the areas of my life. That's important because the more I celebrate my strides, it inspires me to do more. In your spiritual life, yes, you accepted Jesus, but then being born again alone is not the end of the journey. There's so much ahead of you. There's so much about Christ that you need to learn. There's so much deposit of God in his word that you need to get to know and believe and receive. You are not to sit in a place and feel like, oh, I've already reached the spiritual limits. There's no spiritual limits to God in this realm. Paul Apostle himself said, not as if I have already achieved 
the perfection for which I seek. Not as if I have already apprehended what Christ has apprehended me for. But if you check the life of Paul, all of us would want to be like him. Get to the place that he got to. That his apron could heal the sick. That he could lay hands on the sick and heal. That he could walk in power and walk in love and walk in wisdom. We would want to get there. But himself said, I'm not yet there. Which is, this is so humbling. That you and I, in our Christian work, in our daily life, and in everything that we do, we should kill the arrival mentality and carry a mentality of humility, knowing that this life, I am a work in progress. I'm not yet whole. I'm not yet perfect. But spiritually, I'm whole through Christ. He has made me whole. In this physical realm, in my soul, there were some things that broke me. There were some things that happened to me in my past that have affected my perception, that have affected my lifestyle, that have informed me wrongly. There are baggages that I've carried. So in this realm, I am not yet whole. I am a work in progress. I don't know everything. If you hold this mindset, it brings you to a place of humility, not pride, and it makes you progress. I hope you are blessed by this video. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget also to subscribe to this channel. I am Uwe Mekpan. When you subscribe, it will help you to spread this message to other people who need to hear it. And do not forget also to share this video to your family and your friends. Don't forget to drop a comment for me. I will so appreciate to hear your thoughts about this video. See you in my next YouTube video. Bye-bye.